What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I've got a rubbish sale to go to this morning. Rubbish sales are my favorite types of sales to go to because you honestly never know what you're gonna find. So many different types of people donate to these, hundreds of people. It's a great mix of stuff and usually the prices are amazing. So I'm gonna go hit it, try to find some good stuff and I want you to come along with me. So let's go. I am at the rummage sale and if you're noticing this video looks a little strange, it's moving a little fast. It's in time-lapse mode. I'm having some camera problems at this sale. Uh, some of it wasn't recording. I had to pull the battery out to fix it and this started recording uh, just in time-lapse mode. So it only lasts about 40 or 60 seconds. So it's gonna go back to normal here in a minute. But yeah, checking out this rummage sale, finding some good stuff already, got some stuff in the bag, and coming over here, checking out the hats, of course, as I mentioned in all rummage sale videos, love to look through the hats. Picked up a starter cap there, Cincinnati Bengals, some travel destination caps, might not have been bad to pick up that one, it was very 90s, vintage looking, didn't pick it up, you see there, they're 50 cents. But didn't see anything else I really wanted to pick up. I got hundreds of hats and totes that I've picked up over the past, past few years. Some of the higher end ones I've sold. There's a free sale game, Radica. I sell those on Amazon for pretty good money. Guitar Hero guitar there. And yeah, some toys. Ended up picking up a Furby. Uh, board games. Not a whole lot of board games at this sale, unfortunately. Quite a bit of books to look at at this rummage sale, and I look at all of them, but I don't do it on the GoPro. Uh, cut out some of that footage so you don't have to deal with me looking at all the books. I'm looking for things like old vintage Stephen King books, uh, Harry Potter books, stuff like that. Stuff that I've bought before, some of those vintage Stephen King books I've sold for quite a bit of money, upwards to $100. Here's a 49ers pro player jacket. Very nice jacket, except when I checked the zipper, it <laughs> it was missing part of the zipper, wasn't in great condition uh, for that reason. They're not huge money, but they're still, they still sell. People like these old vintage jackets, especially the starter jackets, pro player jackets. There's missing the, the zipper piece there. Very repairable, right? It's just, I don't spend a lot of time selling clothing or dealing with clothing, especially something that's, you got some damage. I'll just pass on it. I think jackets were like $4, which is very fair. You see my bag there. I got some shoes. And um, yeah, I got some really good shoes in that bag, actually. See all that in the hall part. I had to check this Nike bag. I'm a little excited. I saw Nike racing. Uh, just really old, beat up cleats, I think it was. Women's jackets. I try to check those out as well. But down here on the floor, I see some Brooks shoes. And I want to check these out because Brooks can be great money. I've sold lots of pairs of Brooks. I'm noticing they got a little bit of dirt. They got a little bit of wear on them, but they have a lot of life left. And then I'm thinking, you know what? These are only a dollar. So let me just go ahead and pick them up. Why not? I can probably sell them at minimum $20, probably get 25 for them. So in the bag, they ended up going. I didn't get to look through them yet, but... Yeah, I 
so it's kind of funny because I come over to this other side and I see the same pair of Brooks. And at first I'm like, oh, here's another pair. I'm like, wait, those are the, that's the pair I just looked at. And you know what? From this angle, they looked a little better for a dollar, right? So I ended up picking them up. Um, and reselling is just weird sometimes. It's the kind of stuff you leave behind because you don't want to sell it. Um, then two or three seconds later, you're like, yeah, you know, why not? It's cheap. I'll buy it. So I put them in the bag and I don't regret it at all. Like I said, they're going to be good profit. Now this pair of Brooks, I did not want, they had a little bit more damage. They're harder to clean, uh, a little tear on the top. So when they're that worn down, I'm not going to worry about trying to sell them. Here's some, I think they're a Mizuno, which uh, they weren't in the great shape. And Mizuno is not that great of a brand, so back down they went. Excuse me. I like to check out the men's sweatshirts at these rummage sales because you can find some older vintage items. Here's a Tommy Hilfiger sweatshirt. Uh, you know, not really great. At least not great to me. So back at way, I don't know how much clothing was. Maybe a dollar or two. Uh, I know all shoes were a dollar. Uh, a lot of the other stuff was like 50 cents. Very cheap stuff at this rummage sale which is good. Some rummage sales, they get a little bit crazy and they, they want to price stuff up, but most of these church-based ones uh, go into a good cause. They price stuff very low and uh, you can usually find something that's, that's worth good money. Over here, checking out the holiday stuff, Halloween, Christmas. At this point in the rummage sale, I figure it's probably been picked through. Not a whole lot left. Just trying to get some footage here. Let you guys you know, kind of see what's here. And of course, as always, let me know if you see something. I'm always impressed by how well people's eyes are and how they can spot some of this stuff. There was a Lightkeeper Pro. It was missing the replacement lights. I buy those from time to time. I sell, sell them at the Christmas season. I get about $25, $30 for them on Amazon. Here's uh, some sort of Christmas house. I think it was just a cheap one. Trying to find Department 56 stuff. <laughs> Maybe something that's left behind. But yeah, nothing here for me anyway. Nothing I saw that was going to, you know, make me any money. I've definitely been paying more attention to these five-star binders and a lot of old vintage binders. There's some Nike ones that can be worth, you know, well over $100. Something to keep an eye out for. You got that combo unit there. If you can't see on the tape, it says VCR side doesn't work. You know, I'm looking at it now. I, I wish I would have picked it up for the remote. Uh, for $2, that remote was worth picking up. I think it was a... Uh, Oh, what brand was it? I think Emerson. It's actually a pretty big blunder because Emerson remotes can sell up to $30 alone. You know, I, I don't know why I didn't buy that. You know, it's, <laughs> why didn't I buy that? Um, watching this preview footage, just thinking, uh, I just saw the VCR side didn't work. It's like, I don't want that. I got way too many electronics and, um, 
You know, I buy stuff all the time for remotes, so I don't know why I didn't buy that. Power Rangers. That's what I thought, Mighty Morphin. <laughs> Is that like the whole... It's for a buck. I kind of like this. I like, <laughs> well, I like, I like, I like this. Yeah. Switchblade. <laughs> the leather. I think that's a Power Rangers too. For a buck, that ain't bad. Not bad, no. the whole box, I would assume. It was Janie's. <laughs> <laughs> Probably don't fit Janie anymore. Pay for my stuff, then maybe come back in and look a little bit more. I'm tired of carrying this heavy bag around. <laughs> so I'm looking at these Wii games I found, just making sure the disc is in there at this point. You know, it's something you don't want to do at the beginning of the rummage sale. You do that at the end when you're ready to leave so you don't waste time. But yeah, everything is in here, great condition. So Happy to pick them up at a dollar a piece. Here is the haul from the rummage sale. I actually got some pretty decent stuff. Only paid $16 for everything on the table. You can see I found some really good shoes. At first I was thinking to myself, this is like the rummage sale I went to toward the end of the year where I found all those really nice pairs of shoes where I made a ton of money. If you didn't see that rummage sale video, I got a lot of great stuff that day. I'll link it at the end of this video. Check it out. But when shoes are a dollar, I just threw them in the bag. I didn't look them up or anything. But I wanted to focus on these shoes a little bit. I don't know if these are real or not. They are Nike Airs. The date on the tag is 2001. Uh, it says flight here. They're actually very well made. They're in good condition for the age. But I just don't know if they're actually Nike. There's the tag. It looks like a Nike tag. I'm not too familiar with the really old tags like this. You can see the number there. I looked up the numbers. I tried to find these. On Terrapeak, I found one that had like blue with that number that sold for about $200, but not enough comps to be confident to say what these are worth or even if they're real. I know there's some big sneaker heads that watch my channel, so let me know if you have any information on these. Maybe I'll post them in a Nike sneaker form or something, see if I can get some information on them. For a dollar, you know, it's definitely gonna be some good profit on that. Got a couple pairs of Brooks, they're kind of dirty, but at a dollar, you know, I just went and grabbed them, they're still, they still got a lot of life left in them. Usually Brooks shoes like this, since I got that mini washer, you know, I'll just clean and list some other shoes and wash these while I'm waiting, throw them in there, so it's not gonna be much work. And then I can list them for about $25, is usually what I sell. Brooks for like this. If you look at the comps for some of the Brooks, especially like the Glycerin 17s, and what are these? I'm not even sure. I didn't really pay attention. Glycerin 16s. You know, there's hundreds of these that sell pre-owned, so they're worth picking up. People look for them. They wear through running shoes very quickly. They don't want to drop, you know, 120 bucks for any pair of Brooks every time. Here's a pair of Nike Air Max. These are pretty good. It look like I could probably sell those for about $40. Got some other Nike shoes here. Um, these I found, uh, I think they were about $30, $35 is what they're selling for. Again, for a dollar, they're awesome. Then we got these Kobe tins, I think they were. There was only one comp for these. One sold for $100, it looked like. They're white, so they definitely need cleaned up, but I think it's gonna be worth it. These seem to be, from what I can tell, you know, real. You can't really see the tag in there. Nike puts their tags in weird places. It's hard to see them. But I'm gonna clean these up. I'm gonna try 100 bucks. I think I'll get it. You see, I got this little Sony CD player radio. Picked it up for only $2, that's why I grabbed it. Of course I get in there, the very first thing I put in my bag is something heavy that I have to carry it around um, while I'm looking at other stuff. I do apologize for not getting the first couple minutes of that rummage sale. 
I hit the button on the GoPro, it just, for whatever reason, didn't come on. I had to pull out the battery and reset it right there in the middle of the rummage cell just to get the footage I got. And this is selling on Amazon for about $80, so I might just FBA it. It's in really good condition if it works, of course. It's supposed to have a remote. I won't sell it on Amazon if I don't have the remote. I'm pretty sure I have the remote for this upstairs. I got three or four remotes for some of these different, more common boom boxes. Or I'll sell it like this for about 35, 40 bucks on eBay. Either way, paying $2, it's a great deal. Got this Furby. You know, I paid 50 cents for it, so I picked it up. And it looked like it, this one was selling for about uh, $25. And I picked up one at Goodwill last year. I ended up selling it for about 40 or $50. So always keep an eye out for these older Furbies. It's not that old, it's like 2012, but still, that's about 10 years old now. Then we got a free sell. And I've mentioned these many times on the channel, these little handhelds. Find them new, you're getting about $200 on Amazon. You know, they still sell pretty good on eBay. I don't know what they sell for, but I always sell them on Amazon. Pre-owned on Amazon like this, I usually price them about $50. I don't think anyone else is even selling them right now. So I could probably price this about $75 or $80. Somebody will buy it. I paid 50 cents for that as well. Got this Bengals vintage starter hat, nothing special. I think it was about 50 cents, maybe even a quarter. I'm not sure. You know, I don't know what I would sell it for. Maybe like $13, $15. I'll probably just put it with all my other hats I've been buying. I just grabbed some Wii games because they were a dollar a piece. I believe this is probably the best one on Amazon. It sells for about 16, 20 bucks. And then we got the Wii Play. And some of these are good to bundle when I sell the Wii systems. You know, put a couple of these cheap games with them, especially the Wii Play and like the game party. Stuff, stuff that family plays. And then we got the Monster 4x4 for the last game. All good condition, all have manuals. Dollar a piece, I'll take it. So right here, I have this Harbor Breeze remote, brand new sealed. I wish it was one of the Hunter ones that I've picked up. Some of these sealed ceiling fan remotes I've sold for $150 on Amazon. This one's still looking like about $50, $60 on Amazon. In the end, I should make about $40 on it. The rank on that is a little high, but this stuff, brand new sealed. Eventually, you know, somebody has a remote they need replaced and the only place they're gonna buy it is on Amazon and it will sell. Sold stuff like this so much in the past. There it is, it doesn't look like a whole lot, but <laughs> it's gonna add up. Before you go, I'm gonna ask you to hit that like button for me. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you're subscribed so you keep seeing my content. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick, until next time.